I'm working uh, in fundamental physics. So I'm working in particular with the Large Hadron Collider, in, which is based in Geneva. The idea there is to smash protons to really understand what happens at the fundamental level in nature. My field is more called math oncology, so which means we apply math to study oncology, especially about understanding the progress, the mechanism of cancer, so in a way that we, whether we can target on these mechanisms to change the future treatment of cancer. Our interest is to show that we can actually advance on future wireless communication by designing uh, antenna front ends, radio devices that are really efficient. We would like to bring people the ability to have this communication everywhere, anywhere, at any time you want. My research investigates the novel methods to detect microplastics in water. Currently, we have limitations in detecting them in water environment. So I believe my research can overcome those limitations and provide the um, breakthrough in detecting microplastics. So my research focuses on developing novel chemical tool compounds, which uh, eventually uh, can help us understand biology better and possibly help us develop uh, innovative therapies that can help uh, solve untreatable diseases such as cancer and neurodegeneration. I'm a postdoctoral researcher assistant. My project right now focuses on studying breast cancer metastasis in bone. The objective of this project is not only to understand the crosstalk between breast cancer cells and bone cells when they metastasize to the bone. Obesity is one of the biggest issues around the world. And my research is about the appetite control and neurodegeneration. I study how it is re related. I do a lot of research around understanding the emissions that we get from energy supply chains, so particularly gas stuff. So methane emissions is my particular focus, and also hydrogen. So it's all about trying to understand how we can reduce emissions uh, to be more sustainable. Mental health and psychiatric disorders are a major concern for society today. My group primarily researches um, the biological and environmental factors contributing to developmental disorders. So as a particle physicist, I study the building blocks of matter, of you know you and me and everything on Earth and in the universe. Um, most of my research is about ADHD, so attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. There are a lot of adult women with ADHD, but because of this sort of historical bias towards a kind of more male-centered picture of ADHD, a lot of the concerns that are more specific to girls and women with ADHD have been really understudied. The biggest challenge in mathematics research is understanding really high level abstract concepts and being able to understand lots of different ideas from lots of different perspectives and being able to put these ideas together. What we're trying to do is understand how different types of adversity might negatively affect different aspects of cognition that will help inform uh, therapies or interventions to try and mitigate those effects. So that potentially has huge impact, not just for refugees, because actually there are many children in the world who live in quite adverse uh, conditions. The best thing about my role is the diversity. I get to find out about all the exciting research that we do right across science and engineering, from fantastic work that we're doing in biology and psychology through to research in mathematics and physics, engineering. Um, and that is, is a real uh, thrill for me to see this, this diversity of really excellent research. In the current research climate, it's promote to have multidisciplinary research. That means you need to come from different angles. At Queen Mary, I think we're doing great, great science, great research across the board. But I think one of the things that I'm, that I'm most proud of is actually the, um, is our commitment to uh, so, uh, social mobility. I really enjoy the diversity of people, from the first year students to the PGRs, who are all really enthusiastic um, and positive, and that's very contagious. I enjoy working with my colleagues who come from a huge variety of backgrounds, so it's a, it's a great place to be. As a scientist, you may think everything is about science, but what I enjoy is that it also makes you realize you need other people to make science successful. My research focuses on um, 
studying strong gravity. So strong gravity means in regimes around black holes, so it has a lot of astrophysical applications. And we can use numerical simulations as a kind of an experiment to understand better what's happening near a black hole or even inside a black hole. I have developed my whole career at Queen Mary where I felt very supported throughout all the stages of my career and supported in the sense I've been allowed to progress but also at the same time to have a family. Diversity is essential because it allows better results. Uh, better results which also mean having more people listening, their views and a diverse of opinion. When I first be a PhD student, I went to a conference. I was the only woman out of 40 in the same conference. Of course, this gave me a huge shock about how the field is. We are really trying hard to give more visibility to uh, these marginalized groups so that, for instance, a female student can think, oh, okay, maybe I could also become a mathematician, I could also become a professor of mathematics in the future. It's important to feel represented. As a woman in STEM, uh, it's, it's, it's great to see that the, the, the shift in, in the community and, and the understanding that the diversity of thoughts and, and um, expertise that comes into the science is what really brings uh, through innovation. So looking at women engineers that inspire me, honestly, I'm inspired by many of my colleagues every day, looking at the impact you can have. So I believe that science is inherently connected to culture. Uh, different cultures have produced different scientific outputs uh, throughout with different thinking and uh, it is important to translate this diversity of cultures into the diversity of thinking and this is what we actually do here in Queen Mary. For me, someone who has come from a different country, different background, meeting with people with similar stories, never the same stories, make, made it very, very easy for me to feel welcome, to feel home here at Queen Mary. Diversity in science is very important to make you feel welcome in the atmosphere. I was the first in my family to go to university and uh, so I know the sort of challenges but also the opportunities that come with that. And uh, being able to, to make a positive contribution to the future of our students is something that I'm really, uh, really proud of. The thing that I love most about working at Queen Mary is the working with the people, the collaboration of uh, all of the different expertise, different disciplines, different cultures. I feel there's a real opportunity for us to sort of to mix together and drive things forward in a better way. I would say um, break the rules, you know, just because something is written in a textbook, you can uh, you can try it and see what goes on beyond, beyond it. I think sometimes when we think of science, we think of like, oh, this is the rule and this is an equation, you just apply it and then you get your result. So we need people that can think out of the box. It, it is a privilege in life to be able to do work that you think is intellectually interesting. So I would just say if you, if you really are passionate about something in science um, and you have the opportunity to make that your career, that you should try to grab hold of it. Queen Mary really sort of fosters this sort of um, diversity and inclusivity in its staff, in its students. We really try and do everything we can to make sure that all of the students, regardless of their backgrounds or their needs, really are able to have the full experience of being a student, 